This drone is the Rise Tello, a small entry-level drone that provides decent stability during flight. Recording in 720p with digital stabilization instead of a mechanical gimbal, which is present on the more expensive drones. It has a fast and slow flight mode, and can perform flips with the swipe of a finger. It has other modes including a weird bounce mode, a circular flight mode, and a 360 panorama video mode. It can only go about 300 feet away and 30 feet high. At only $100, this drone is perfect for someone looking to get into flying before making a larger purchase on a DJI Spark, Mavic Air, or a Mavic Pro. Although this drone is made by RiseTech, it has both DJI and Intel components and software, giving you the best performance for your money on a cheap drone. Usually drones in this price range don't have self-stabilization, but the Tele uses infrared sensors to stay as balanced as possible while in flight. With a fun, fast, and decently stable drone like this, accidents are bound to happen. Within the first week of owning this drone, I broke two propellers when the wind took it into a tree. Since it's so lightweight, wind can easily throw it around, especially when at a high altitude. Instead of continuously buying new ones, I wanted to see if I could 3D print replacement propellers. My plan is to take measurements from the stock propellers and do my best to design and print some with PLA. Let's get to it. Now that the propellers are printed, it's time to take off the stock ones and put on the ones I designed. The drone comes with a small tool that allows for the propellers to come off pretty easily. After my initial design, I noticed that the stock propellers had a rubbery material on the inside. In order to allow my propellers to stay on the motors, I had to do a slight redesign and put an internal component made from a flexible and compressible filament. This rubber-like filament is placed inside of the attachment point of the propeller to give it a firmer grip on the motor. I used filament that I bought from Amazon made by the company SaneSmart, but NinjaFlex or any other flexible filament should do the trick. The print wasn't that clean, but I printed them upside down and with support to make sure that the general shape was accurate to my design. With a simple press onto the motors, all four propellers should be ready for a test flight. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if 3D printed propellers could provide enough lift to make a stock Tello fly. It worked, kind of. It didn't get enough lift for a full flight, but the material didn't break, and I think I can get it to work with another redesign. Initially, I just guessed an angle for the blades based on looking at the stock propellers but instead of guessing, let's try to be more accurate. After looking on DJI's website, I found the thread of the propellers. 
This means how many inches the propeller would thread into a material in one revolution if it were a screw. The diameter and thread of the propeller can be used to find the angle that I need to model the blades at. And it looks like if I want 100% efficiency for my blades, I'll need to model them at a 26 degree angle. My final design corrected the angle and made the blades a bit thinner. I noticed that the battery is dying pretty quickly in the initial test run, so I wanted to make the blades lighter to avoid burning out the motors. Also with the new angle, less support was needed and these propellers printed much cleaner than the first design did. Now it's time to see if my redesign worked. And it's looking pretty good. Getting off of the ground and staying pretty stable. But the real question is, can it do a flip? It even provides enough thrust to do a quick launch from my hand without damaging the blades, which is honestly pretty surprising since they're only two thousandths of an inch thick. I'm happy to say that I was able to design and print propellers accurate enough to the ones that came with my drone to perform a staple flight and even correct itself after performing a few flips. Thanks for checking out the video and stay tuned for more practical prints to come. If you'd like to use the files that I made in this video, check out my Thingiverse, it's linked in the description below.